magsasolve tayo ng uh, integer linear programming in uh, capital budgeting. For example, so five projects are being evaluated over a three-year planning horizon. The following table gives the expected return for each project and the associated yearly expenditures. So given our project, so we have project one, two, three, four, and five. Then given, of course, the expenditure for each year. And then so we have the available funds. Um, we have 25 million for year one, then year two, 25 million, year three, 25 millions. Then so we have our returns in million. We have uh, 20 million for project one, 40 million, 20 million, 15 million, 30 million respectively. Okay, so the question is, which project should be selected over the three horizon? Okay, so the problem reduced to a yes or no decisions. So first, we need to uh, make our uh, sub objective functions. So the ILP, so we have our ILP model is to maximize Z is equal to 20 X sub 1, then uh, plus 40 X sub 2 for project 2, then plus 20 X sub 3, plus 15 X sub 4, plus 30 X sub 5. Okay. Then for our constraint, so we have a three constraint for uh, year one, year two, and year three. Okay. So our first constraints or first equations for year one. So we have five X sub one plus four X sub two plus three x of uh, a 3, then 7, x of 4, plus 8, x of 5. Okay. Then, less than or equal, so we need to insert this as it was. Okay, less than or equal. So we have 25, so this is our available funds. Then the second constraint, so we have this one in year two. So we have X sub one. Let's say we have our coefficient value is one plus seven X sub two plus nine X sub three plus four X sub four X sub five. And so we have a uh, so let's turn the record. Okay. Then the third constraint for year three. So we have eight X sub one plus 10 X sub two plus two sub three plus X sub four plus 10 X sub five. So less than or equal to 25. So for our negative constraint, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5. So equal to 0 and 1 or 1. Because this is also a binary. Okay, so after that, so input lang natin yung mga data this one so we gawa tayo so we have the project one right. so the project then for our 
So we have 20, 40, 20, 15, 30. Then so we have. So we have. Uh, our constraints. Then so we have subject to. So we have five. You, uh, you need to input all uh, coefficient value. So we have five, four, three, seven, and eight. So one, seven, nine, four, six, eight, ten, two, and one. And so we have to So our formula is we have equal sum product. This is our changing variable. Then you need to multiply in this value. Then after, after that, <clears throat> so we need to use our Excel solver. So click your solver, then maximize changing variable. First, so we have this one, this is our changeable, changing variable. Then for our constraint, so we have, you need to add. So this is the first, uh, our constraint, then you need to click binary or VIN. Then add other constraints, less than or equal than this one. Then OK. So you need to uh, select simplex LP. Okay. Then after that, so you need to click solve. Okay, then OK. So this is our final answer. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0. Then our um, <clears throat> Z value of maximum profit natin is equal to 95. So therefore, you need to select project 1, project 2, project 3, and project 4. Okay.